Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and I apologize because yesterday I did not get a video out to you um, this past weekend. We had a wonderful weekend out in the hot weather. Uh, it wasn't too bad. We were um, at a soccer tournament for my daughter and they placed third so they did really well for their first time being on an extra big field. Um, so needless to say, I was out and about uh, all weekend. Um, I know I did one on Saturday, but I did not get to it on Sunday. So my apologies. And so here's one coming at you now. Um, if you are not familiar with me or you don't know who I am, I am Nicole Simonin and I am the personal trainer at Shape It Up Fitness. And I am hanging out at the park again today. Not too many people right here, so hopefully I won't be too distracted. <laughs> it's kind of weird talking in your car to your phone and um, people are walking by kind of looking at you like, is she doing anyway so today I'm talking about arthritis and how you can work out with arthritis um, if you would like help putting together a program that is designed for you go ahead and head to shapeitupfitness.com slash call c-a-l-l -L. you can request a free consult with me uh, we'll just jump on the phone for 10 minutes and talk about what your aspirations are for your dream physique and and then go from there all right, so if you are not familiar with arthritis, um, it is a general umbrella term that means inflammation of your joints. There are two types of arthritis. So there is osteoarthritis and then there is rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis, also known as OA, is the most common arthritis that most people have. And the reason why is, is it's wear and tear of your joints. So uh, as we get older, and depending on how bad we beat up our bodies when we were younger, you may have some arthritis going on in your joints. Um, basically, you're wearing away the cartilage. Um, there could be bone missing. So that is how osteoarthritis happens. Rheumatoid arthritis is something totally different. Um, you do have joint pain, but um, it attacks the lining around the joint. And um, usually it causes swelling, causes tenderness. Um, OA does cause tenderness uh, and joint um, instability um, and pain. A lot of times it's not, it does not have swelling. So that's usually some of the telltale signs between the two. Um, RA usually, um, RA attacks your, um, I'm sorry, RA is an autoimmune disease. There are many different autoimmune diseases that cause arthritis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and actually I have rheumatoid arthritis. So I, when I was 17, um, little side story, I was 17 and I got very sick. Um, I woke up one morning and I really couldn't move my body at all. I was in such pain and I didn't know what was going on. Um, Long story really short, um, I wound up in the hospital a couple days and uh, eventually was taken to Children's Hospital in Philly and they had no idea what was wrong with me. Um, they told me that I was going to be blind and that I probably would never walk again and as a young girl who wanted to be a professional ballet dancer, that was... Um, I think traumatizing initially. I think being as young as I was, I didn't really realize what was going on. But um, lo and behold, the story has a happy ending. Um, about six months later, they did find out what I had. And I have a type of juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and a couple months later, I was back dancing with a scholarship to the university that I had gone to. So I have not had too many problems with rheumatoid arthritis throughout the years. Every now and then, I'll have um, like just some hand pain. I used to get um, uh, wrist pain a lot, like if I would lift things, which ironically enough got better once I started lifting weights. Um, I definitely did not eat the way I eat now. So I think that when I was younger, there was a lot of foods that were causing inflammation, which was probably not making the arthritis any better. Um, but as of today, I can say I am 45, almost 46, and I do not have any arthritis pain from rheumatoid arthritis. And I really do contribute that to eating healthy. Um, I'm not a purist like I do eat. Um, if you've listened to any of my videos, I, I tend to have some cinnamon buns every now and then and a donut here and there. But generally speaking, I do stick with whole foods. Um, lots of water, no alcohol, that kind of stuff. But um, so that side story about my life, um, I really think weight training helped a lot with that. Um, so getting back to working out with arthritis, 
Uh, just a side note too, you always want to talk to your doctor, make sure that you're doing what is best for you. When I, when clients come to me and work with me, um, I actually have them, we kind of work together with the doctor just to make sure that everything's good and that I'm giving you a program that is um, in congruency with your doctor and what his recommendations are. So always check with your doctor before you start any kind of exercise program or nutrition program or anything like that, especially if you have arthritis or um, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, so when you work out with either osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, there are some things that you need to be aware of. Number one, I think the most important thing for both of them is, is that you really need to listen to your body. And if you're having pain, you need to back off. There, with arthritis, if you push through, a lot of times you make it a lot worse. So I tend to tell any clients that I have, if you have arthritis and if you're having a flare up, you need to back off a little bit. Um, doesn't mean you can't do anything. You just have to do something that is tolerable to your body. That's not going to increase the pain. Um, with rheumatoid arthritis, if you have some swelling, you can always add some ice. Typically the recommended ice procedure is 10 minutes on 10 minutes off. Um, you can see how it feels. Some people, with osteoarthritis feel better with ice, some feel, feel better with heat. So again, you have to see which works best for you. Um, the next thing is when you have a flare up, you want to do low to no impact exercises. This is not the time to go interval training and doing sprints on the treadmill um, or anything crazy like that. So low impact exercises, a good example would be walking. Um, if you have access to a pool, swimming is great for people that have arthritis. Uh, there's the buoyancy of the water that helps the joints, so you're not getting the pounding that you would just normal walking. Um, big factor too, another side note um, on arthritis, is if you are overweight, you're going to have problems with arthritis. You, if you can decrease your, the body weight that you're carrying around, your joints are going to be much happier. Um, if you need help with that, head on over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call. We'll just chit chat for 10 minutes. There's no obligation. It's a completely free consult. Um, and we'll, I'll see if I can give you some direction to get you started. Um, the other aspect too is if you are having a flare up, you can do some stretches. Yoga is a great thing to do. Be careful of different poses. Make sure that you're kind of keeping it on the easy side. Um, Pilates is another great one. I've been doing Pilates for years. Um, I started that. That was a big thing with dancers. Uh, I started that back in the 90s. So Pilates is another good thing for arthritis. Um, watching your range of motion. So in physical therapy, we talk a lot about range of motion, ROM. When you are working out and you have arthritis, you want to stay in what's called a pain-free range. So I know I'm not probably in the best area scenario wise, but like if you were doing a bicep curl or a lunge or something and say you got to here and you were having pain, you want to back off and that's where you want to stop for your range of motion. So you would fully extend your arm and then come up. Same thing like if you were doing a squat, if you were standing up and as you drop down to that 90 degree mark, say you had pain there in your knees, you don't want to go as far. You want to go 45 or whatever is a pain free range. So you want to stay out of that pain range. Um, when you have arthritis. Some other things, again, this is kind of physical therapy terminology, but I'm going to explain it to you. Um, so open chained ex ex exercises, they are when you're, um, so like quad extensions, that kind of thing. So those I would not do when you're having a flare up. So quad extensions are one, um, hamstring curls, but what you can do are bridges, um, squats. I know I'm not, I'm in my car, so I can't give you a demonstration of those exercises, but you can head over to YouTube if you'd like. I have a video demonstration of most of the exercises and it's a video list of a library list. So you can go and check that out. It's, um, just Google shape it up, um, in YouTube and it should come up. If not Google my name, Nicole Simona also. Um, so as opposed to open chain exercises, you want to do closed chain, which I said, you know, like squats, um, you could even do little lunges, you could do bridges, anything that your foot is fixed. 
Um, same thing with your arms, like instead of doing a chest press with a dumbbell, that would be an open chain. You could do a closed chain, which would be like a push up on a wall, something easy. So you want to do modifications again if you're flaring up. Um, so with my physical therapy background and my ballet background, I just love this part of my job. Not that I like people to be injured or have issues, but when they do come to me, I love it because it kind of um, makes me think out of the box and how I can approach their workout and, you know, kind of fit it to what they need. Um, a lot of times I'll have clients that will text me before they're supposed to be at a session or if they're online clients, um, they'll text me and be like, uh, I'm, you know, having pain or whatever. Should I do my workout? And I always tell them, yes, we're just going to keep it low level. And a lot of times when they're done, they feel fantastic. Um, so just to recap everything that I talked about. So if you have arthritis, either osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, these are the things you want to look out for. You want to listen to your body. Okay. That one's key. Um, you want to lower the intensity of your workout. You want to stretch gently. You're not stretching to be Gumby. You're just easing those joints out a little bit. You want to decrease your range of motion and stay in that pain-free range of motion. Um, and then lastly, you want to modify your exercises. So you, um, and if you have trouble with that, that's where a trainer comes in and is very helpful. A trainer that knows what they're talking about. Um, if you, you know, if you want help putting together a program, head on over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Um, and I will write that in the comment section below too, so you can check that out. All right. So that is all for me today. I hope this was helpful and keep an eye out for me tomorrow because I plan on doing a video. There's no more soccer tournaments that I know of tonight, though I am at soccer practice right now. But <laughs> all right, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you tomorrow.